Right now on 12 News at 6, our big story. A concerning trend continues in Arizona. Federal authorities rescued nearly 100 illegal migrants from a West Phoenix apartment complex. Immigration advocates say human trafficking of migrants continues to plague the valley. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rachel Cole in tonight for Caribe Divine. And I'm Mark Curtis. Thanks for joining us. Team 12's Jonathan McCall is in Phoenix tonight with the concern from immigration attorneys and how they say the problem can be fixed. Jonathan. A top immigration attorney says even though we're not seeing daily headlines of dozens of people being rescued from stash houses across Phoenix, she says the problem of human smuggling here in the Valley is still very much a big problem. It's in Glendale, it's in Mesa, it's in little communities in Tucson, it's all over the state. And recently in Phoenix, federal investigators found 79 undocumented migrants from Mexico, Guatemala and Honduras at this West Phoenix apartment complex. Investigators say seven more were found in a car nearby. We have smart traffickers who are here in the U.S. who know to move people from house to house, and it is a moving target for law enforcement. It's a problem immigration attorney Hillary Walsh says that she sees each and every day, and it's only getting worse. She says migrants typically pay tens of thousands of dollars to get to the country. Once here, they're moved from stash house to stash house, many times groups crammed together. She says recent headlines of 50 people found dead in an 18-wheeler in San Antonio shows the dangerous and potentially deadly drive for human flesh. According to Walsh, with Border Patrol agents tasked with multiple jobs, it makes it easier for the trade to continue. But she believes there are ways to fix the problem, both through legislation and economically. Speeding up the process with which we accept and approve or deny work authorization applications. So if you want a visa because you want to come to the United States to work, why is it taking upwards of a year and a half to two years? Walsh says for many migrants, the rescues come as a double-edged sword, saved from the deplorable conditions of a stash house, but also facing the looming threat of returning back to their native country. However, she says it may not be the end of the road. Someone is apprehended at a stash house, they're oftentimes going to be taken into ICE custody where they have the right to seek asylum and protection from being deported from their home country. In Phoenix, Jonathan McCall, 12 News.